From a cigarette study break by the library, to casually smoking a hookah pipe on Staller, tobacco use is common at Stony Brook University. By January 1st, it won't be. The tobacco-free policy stems from uh, a resolution that was signed back in June uh, 12, 2012, uh, by the Board of Trustees. It was approved uh, with the Chancellor, Nancy Zimfer, and that all uh, SUNY campuses would be tobacco-free by January 1st, 2014. Tobacco-free includes all sorts of tobacco products, um, not just smoking cigarettes, uh, e-cigarettes, uh, hookahs, uh, dip, chew, and any other form of tobacco product. Some students say they are already trying to quit. Well, I first picked up smoking when I was 15 years old at parties, but I quit on and off for a couple years since then, but I officially quit smoking eight months ago. To help smokers cope, Stony Brook is putting an emphasis on cessation, offering counseling and even free nicotine replacement products. When I went to the campus psychological services, the CAPS program, I spoke to someone for about an hour and they placed me into a group therapy session. And um, yeah, I've been doing that ever since. While the policy is still being fine-tuned, the university wants to shy away from imposing fines and focus on helping smokers. It is an addiction and you need time to transition through and get the support that you need. Some students, however, still remain skeptical about the policy. It does promote, like I say, good health and that's what you want to do. You want healthier people to live longer. Um, I just don't know how realistic it is because of how big the campus is. Other students are looking forward to a cleaner environment. I think it's a great idea because always like walking around campus, it's like you can't walk 12 feet without being in like a crowd of smokers and it's really annoying because I know I don't have breathing problems but like people with asthma that must suck. Smokers however say that the ban is unfair. If you live on campus and you are over the age of 19, you should be able to go someplace on campus where you are able to smoke instead of needing to leave campus just for a cigarette, come back, like it is an addiction. In an effort to prevent smokers from going completely cold turkey, Stony Brook plans to release the policy in the fall to give everyone time to adjust, like they've done at other SUNY schools such as Cortland, which has been tobacco-free since January 1st. For Stony Brook University, this is Hedyashiban.